It did begin <laughs> as a literary and visual art idea. The full word de-evolution got contracted to Devo. And then the question became, what would Devo music sound like? And Mark and I started working on that and making it real. There was something about like getting people upset in the middle of the country. And we thought, we're doing something right if we get people angry enough they want to come up and fight with us after three songs. Yeah, the environment in Ohio was definitely anti-artistic, anti-intellectual, very kind of right-wing, very blue-collar place that was hostile to originality and innovation, and certainly something subversive like Devo. So it did only um, serve to strengthen our resolve when we were threatened or laughed at. De-evolution is real. Yeah, our, you know, our message, well, that's the first 50 years was we were talking about de-evolution and man being the, the one species out of touch with nature. I think the next 50 years, we're going to be talking about mutation, don't stagnate, uh, positive mutations. You know, we have to like change things for the better. You know, I think the biggest thing was just as Chris was going through, you know, it, decades of footage and there was so much footage on these guys and it's just uncanny how early they started filming everything they were doing and that goes even beyond the videos they were making the films they were making just how timely everything they were saying was and um i mean to to an almost uncanny extent you could listen to an interview of these guys from the late 70s or the early 80s and it sounded like they were talking about you know 2020 or um 2021 and talking about the planet warming up and new diseases coming and affecting all of us. And there really is just something so timely, so urgent, but also so evergreen about their message. And that was just really, really wild to see and just how ahead of their time they were. I'm very close to the band, so it wasn't so much about revelation, but we found a director that could find a story within a story. And that in itself was a revelation. And I think that um, meeting Chris and letting him sort of realize his vision of what Devo meant was, was great for everybody. And I, I hope everybody sees what we saw. Jerry has said you could cut 10 different movies out of the material that existed, and it's true. Um, but it was just that there was so much to work with, trying to figure out how to narrow it down in, you know, you want to put everything in, but it's just, I mean, I would like to let every video play out in its entirety. You know, they're all so great, but I, you know, that's one of the great things about today is that people can go online and sort of take their own course through, through the material. And, and there's also a show coming up. I don't know if either of you want to talk about. Well, the restoration project. Yeah. Yeah. MoMA's uh, going to exhibit uh, all of our films that uh, were shot on, uh, 16 millimeter uh, Kodak ectochrome color reversal stock, <laughs> and uh, and and they've all been restored. And there's a night on the 27th of this month at at MoMA, where the whole program is going to be shown. No band history is devoid of warts. Let's put it that way. That that's insulting to an audience to think that there isn't, right? Yeah. Any intelligent person knows it's inevitable that there are conflicts. There are mistakes. There's high points. You know, I think um, one of the one of the really nice things about um, having such a storied artist as your subject and having such an accomplished director is um, we've pretty much worked in some capacity or another with all the major distributors out there, and everyone seems really excited about the film. So it's just about finding the best, most natural home for it, and the people that get it the best and are gonna give it the most life. The hope is just that it introduces the band to more people. You know, I think for me, it was so influential and inspirational as a young person, sort of understanding that there was, you could do more with music, film, art, you know, and, and to think that that can affect other, you know, a whole new group of people could be great. Mm -hmm.